Hey, this is Danielle, the domestic scientist. For today's video, I'm going to do a reindeer vignette right here on my wet bar. So let's get started. So to get started with today's vignette, the first thing I'm going to add in is my faux greenery. Now I found this floral stem at my local Hobby Lobby. It's a plain pine stem. It is really thick and flocked and so it's going to be a great addition to any look where you want to add that nice pop of greenery and it's got a really high quality luxurious feel to it. So just one stem is going to add a huge impact. Now I'm gonna turn the stem to the side a little bit and then I'm gonna put on my um, Santa sleigh. But I'm actually gonna set the Santa sleigh right on top of the stem of my floral pick and that's just gonna add a little bit of a wedge effect so that you can kind of see what's in the sleigh a little bit better and the sleigh is gonna slant downward just a little bit. So now that I have my greenery and my sleigh in place, I'm going to start off by putting in my first reindeer. I'm gonna add this silver reindeer and I'm using this one because he's in a sitting position, but he can back right up into the edge of the sleigh. So it kind of looks like, you know, the reindeer is just taking a little bit of a break while he's waiting for Santa to arrive. So I really love the way this looks together. And now I have just a little bit of space kind of between the um, greenery that I put in and the Santa sleigh. And so I really wanna fill that up and kind of cover those gaps a little bit. So I'm gonna start adding in some poinsettias and I'm using a white glitter poinsettia that I found at my local Hobby Lobby as well. And I'm just going to um, wedge this in place just to give it a little bit of a floral pop. And of course I have my like sage green poinsettias that I'm gonna add to the look as well. And I really like the way um, the flowers are kind of slanting downward. And so we're gonna really create an asymmetric vignette today. So next I'm going to do um, some gold reindeer and I found these reindeer at my local home goods. They are from a company called Glitz and Glimmer. I did a whole haul video about them, although I'm not going to use all of the reindeers that I purchased um, in today's video. I am going to use the two gold ones from Glitz and Glimmer. They're going to give a nice pop. All right, so the next thing that I did was I added my tall Christmas tree, also from Glitz and Glimmer. I found this at Home Goods as well. It's really tall, so I put it off to one side, and that really kind of helps with the asymmetric look that I'm going for today. All right, so I'm loving the way that today's reindeer vignette came together. I was so excited about it. When I found the glam reindeers from Glitz and Glimmer at my local home goods, I knew that they were really special purchases and that I needed to find a way to highlight them in my home decor that went above and beyond just kind of, you know, decorating a space and tossing in a reindeer. I wanted to use them in a way that kind of told a story. And so for this vignette and also for some of the ones I'm I'm gonna do in my upcoming Christmas home tour videos and tablescapes, I'm using the reindeer in a way that tell a story. And I really was thinking about what does an enchanted forest look like at Christmas time? And if you were to see reindeer in the enchanted forest, you know, how would they look if this was kind of like a fairy tale type of scene? So that's kind of what I'm shooting for this season with the way that I'm using the reindeer. Um, and I think that these are really special reindeer that kind of have that enchanted look. So I think it's very fitting. So I am a huge fan of Rebecca Robeson at Kinwoven Robeson Design Channel on YouTube and she really inspired me to kind of go all out for Christmas this year. Um, Rebecca Robeson did put out several Christmas decorating videos and she decorated her house also using a lot of reindeer. And one of the things that I like about how Rebecca was decorating this year is she used so many reindeer but they all had a nice regal appearance. Now prior to really um, starting my YouTube channel, Channel. I wasn't a huge fan of reindeer because it seems like all the reindeer I could find at the time um, were very cartoon like and they were kind of in that theme of the Rudolph but I love the fact that so many um, manufacturers are making great reindeer that have a nice stately and regal appearance. I definitely love some of the larger ones that Rebecca Robeson has so I am on the lookout for more reindeer. So with Rebecca Robeson leading the way, the reindeer for Christmas is super trendy right now and so many people are making great ones. If you do enjoy reindeer home decor, be sure to look out for some and pick up some special ones this season. 
Thanks for joining me for today's video. I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist. Now, today's video is a part of a YouTube collaboration. The title of this collaboration is Reindeer, My Dear. The hosts for this collaboration are Antoinette's Decorating and At Penny's Place. I'll have a link to each of the host channels in the description box below, as well as a link to the collaboration playlist. Be sure to click on that link and check out the other reindeer vignettes that the other YouTubers are doing this season. I promise you won't be disappointed. So I'm Danielle, the domestic scientist. If you liked today's video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.